Well, how do you do, buckaroos? Hey, <laughs> I've got a back start, and I, there's a reason for it. I haven't had one of these in, well, probably literally two decades. Um, so let me pour and tell you why I'm drinking this here. I am at my friendly neighborhood Macadoodles, if you recognize my surroundings here. There's some beers out front. In a cooler. Marked down to a dollar, kind of blowing stuff out. Now, I forget what the hell. Yeah, I've never done a video for this beer. This was one of those beers early on in my beer drinking days when almost all that was available was, you know, American lagers, what we now call the macro adjunct lager. We didn't call them that back then, we called it beer. <laughs> this is one of the very first dark beers that were available back in the late 70s, early 80s. Uh, and it's, it's one of them that I drank early on because it was so different from everything else. Again, I mean, that's how things have evolved. This was really a great beer when it was first introduced. Or considered a great beer, let me say that. Aromas are bad. Again, I mean, if you compare them to what's available now, it's, you know, but it, but if you take it for, take it as, on its own merits, as it were. There's some nice toasted caramel going on there. Again, I paid a buck for this kind of a, as, a, as a reminiscing thing. Again, I've never done a video for it. Yeah, why not, man? <laughs> had several other stuff. They had uh, various St. Patrick's Fair, um, you know, the Guinness Black Lager, I considered the Harp Lager, and Guinness Draft in the bottle. Uh, they also had a, a, a Mother's uh, Three Blind Mice, which is a great beer, but I've done videos for that before. And I came across this Vex Dark, and it's probably it probably has been at least 20 years, maybe 25 years. Couldn't even be close. <laughs> no, it wouldn't be 30. I try to think of the last time I had one, probably early 90s. So yeah, it's it, it's it's a it's a good 20 years since I've had one of these. <sighs> Again, it's one of those things. If you can, this is kind of that continental dark style. Um, it's really all the first style of dark that most Americans were introduced to a dark beer, unless you traveled overseas a lot. This is how you were introduced to a dark beer. Again, by today's standards, with what's available to us these days, this is very mild, it's very tame. But once you consider that all anybody was drinking was the very light lagers, to have this, this is quite a change. There is some kind of um, dark, almost burnt molasses notes at the end. Uh, you know, it's not full of flavor, but it's it's not off-putting in any way either. In, in fact, I remember folks at the time being turned off because it was dark, thinking it was heavy and thick. But it's not. The body is is light. It is easy to drink. Don't let the dark fool you. I mean, it, it is. It's a very muggy day out here in the Ozarks. And I'm finding it actually refreshing. And, you know, there, there might be some memories, you know, playing tricks on me, too. Because I do have some good memories attached to this beer. I begin Beck Star, Heineken Dark. It was these types of beers that, were, you know, that first got a, most Americans, I'll say, you know, introduced to drinking dark beers. Younger drinkers look at the craft beer selection. And they think that's that's the way it's always been, you know. They, they grew up. Those of us that grew up differently, they kind of, you know, saw it saw it rise, saw the, the selection become more plentiful as the years went on. You know, we remember beers like this as, as starter brews. I mean, I was, you know, I was of legal drinking age in '86, but truthfully, I started drinking much younger. <laughs> it was probably in the late '70s when I first had one of these. Well, I probably stole it from my brother's fridge, as a matter of fact. But we won't. Don't tell him. Uh, again, for a buck, it was worth a trip down memory lane. Would I recommend people buying this, or would I buy it again? Um, guess with a caveat, if you're just curious, it isn't a terrible business wrong with it. If, if all you drink is current craft beers, it's going to seem rather tame to you. Would I buy this again? Yeah, for a buck every day. Yeah, you know, I can buy this again for a buck. Yeah, why not? Depending. You know, so there you go. I'm done to beer with Morales. See you later.